Dog Master here. We're doing another NOCO video, but this is the GB70. It's been a year since I started this truck. I think it's been a year. Last time I started it was the last video I did on this truck. So I got a case for my GB70 since NOCO is not kind enough to include a nice case. They just give you a little sock. So I got this awesome bag. I keep my wedge in here, just an extra wedge, and then I put the charger in there so everything's together and the GB70 has been great besides that chipped off just going to clamp it it caught the edge once busted it right off but this old Dodge it's got old Megatron batteries in it they're probably six years old and uh, it's just kind of a extra truck that lays around old 12 valve 96 we're gonna put the charger on this side I just checked, the battery has enough in it to buzz the key. Um, I do have some corrosion. It hasn't been started in almost a year. It's gotta be close. But interstates are decent, but it does have a draw somewhere. And it has this ratinator. That probably drained most of it. We're just gonna see, this thing is rated for six liters. So it should be there. But we got two batteries we're dealing with and I'm just gonna show you guys. This truck has 429,000 miles and key. As you can see, glow plug light and everything's coming on, but I'm trying to get this to focus. I'm sorry. There we go. Nothing. So, what I'm gonna do, that's with the NOCO off. Let's see if it even turns on or if I have to override it. So it's chasing, I didn't have to override, so it must not be completely drained. So the key is just to let it sit. So I'm gonna let it sit on here for about 30 seconds. Okay, NOCO's been on here for a while now, almost a minute. I'm just letting it cycle. I'm gonna give it a little wiggle just to make sure we're getting a good connection and we're gonna give her a go. So. I don't know exactly how long it's been. I didn't check the last video with this truck. Some of you probably saw that video. It was, I think, last winter. So that's still waiting to start. Oh, she's dead. I don't think it's gonna go. I'm almost, damn it. I was hoping that GB70 would do it. I might have to get the 155. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna really wiggle these. I'm gonna turn this off. This connection here, if you see, it's kinda scummy. So. I'm gonna try to get this connected on the actual stud. Okay. Let's try that. It might not work because, I mean, it's, it's a diesel truck. I know the 70, it's not the GB150. So we got 2,000 amps. Yeah, she's, I don't think she's going to do it, boys. Oh, come on, baby. She's dead, bitch. That starter's freaking been sitting for a long time. I think I can get it to go. I'm gonna leave that key on so the greed heater stays warm. We're working this 70 to all it's got, all its ability. Turn it back off. Give it a little, a little love back on let's just let it I'm gonna be on that stud more there we go I think I have good a good feeling about this I know the 155 would crank it over pretty fast but I don't like the 155 there she goes come on baby Woo! 
Still holding it. Yay! It started. I'm giving a little gas. This thing does not run right. Probably because it's got old diesel in it. Oh, it died. A little 70 to get it going again. Woo! There she goes, guys. GB70. The older NOCOs are better. I don't. GBX sends too much current, which is great for cranking this thing over fast, but if you want that juice for a longer amount of time, go with the GB70 or the GB150. Um, the GBX75 and the GBX155, they're powerful, but they die faster, so I don't recommend it. And you have to buy the, um, you have to buy a fast charger because they don't include it. And that's uh, 70 bucks from NOCO, so you can buy one for 30 at Walmart. It's a laptop fast charger, 65 watts, that works, that's what I did. But anyway, I recommend it. Thanks for watching. Bye.